it's much easier to change behavior than it is to change perception of others. Changing the perception of others is hard. One of the best research principles in psychology is called cognitive dissonance theory. We all see people in a manner that's consistent with our previous stereotype, and we look for behavior to reinforce that stereotypical belief. Well, how do you get people to change perceptions? The key there is follow-up. I'll give you two examples. Let's say my problem is I make too many destructive comments about other people. I picked that because it sounds so simple. All I have to do to change my behavior is quit doing it. I go seven months and never make a destructive comment about anyone. Seven months later, I go, stupid idiots and finance idiot being comments. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you're my colleague. Your first reaction is he never changed. Yeah. yeah. Case study two, though, if I say, you know, I got feedback. I want to be a better team player, not make destructive comments. Give me ideas. You don't believe I'm going to change, but you're thinking, well, there's a little hope there. What happens though in two months when I come back and say, it's been two months. I said, I want to be a great team player, not make bad comments. Give me suggestions for the future. Now you start thinking, good job. Four months, good job. Six months, good job. Now I'm still human. I'm going to make a mistake. Seven months, rah, 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 idiots and finance. Only now you have a context. You say, you know, you shouldn't have said that. You went seven months without doing that. So you're right. I'm going to apologize. Situation A, as you really well, well put it, situation A, did behavior change? Yes. Did perception change? No. Situation B, did behavior change? Yes. Did perception change? Yes. And in leadership, it doesn't matter what we think we said. Right. All, all that matters.